Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be doing a review. And we're going to be doing a review on my 2014 BMW F10 M5 Competition Carbon Fiber CSL Trunk Lid. Now this isn't just any trunk lid. This is an Agency Power Carbon Fiber CSL Trunk Lid. To most of y'all, that doesn't mean a thing. It doesn't matter. But to me, I thought, you know, maybe I should just do a review on this thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rate this trunk on a scale. Overall quality, appearance, the fitment, the value per dollar, the customer service that I received personally, and my overall satisfaction. Now, there are some thing that I'm satisfied with, as in one thing, something. And there are very many things that could have been that could have been done a whole lot better. Um, I'm not usually the type of person to leave a bad review, um, and I and I still wouldn't have like I can't where I bought it. I can't leave them a bad review. They have somehow taken that away. This has been months that I have purposely not left a bad review. So here we go. All right. On January 15th of 2021, I purchased this Agency Power Carbon Fiber Trunk CSL Fitz BMW F10 M5. And I even, I messaged and I said, can I confirm fitment? They confirmed the fitment. Now, this trunk is a little bit more than you'd expect it to be. And more than I should have paid. This trunk was $1,500. Why did I spend $1,500 on this? After taxes and everything, it was $1,696.55 for a trunk. Hey, I'm willing to pay for quality. Couldn't find a single, single review on it anywhere. Not on Google, not on eBay, not on YouTube, not anywhere. This very possibly could be the first and last one that they made. So my first message to them was, hey, you initially said that it would ship within two to three weeks because it had to be quality control checked. At this point, it's been over three weeks, 27 days to be exact, as of 2-10-2021. I noticed the item has a shipping label created and marked shipped, but had not actually been shipped. Is there any way I can get a real-time update? And this, with, this is with an estimated delivery date of Tuesday, February 18th. And you know, hey, I understand. Things do take a long time, especially if they haven't been made yet. But, you know, like I said, it's, they had said that it was made um, and going through quality control checks. Sorry for the delay. We received an update saying that the trunk has shipped on Thursday and it is currently in transit. Your tracking number should show its movement. Well, it did not. So when I did finally receive the trunk, I sent him another message. I said, we've got to talk about the fitment of this trunk. They said, how's it going? What seems to be the issue with the fitment? We always recommend a body shop that is proficient in carbon fiber to do the installation and sort fitment. Can you send pictures of the issue? And they said, or, then I said, the part where the trunk connects to the seal does not meet. That means every time it rains, my entire trunk fills with water. And I'm not talking a little bit. I'm talking like water, deep water. 
The OEM trunk is 22 millimeters at the part where it connects to the rear windshield. The carbon one is 17 millimeters. So what I'm talking about is the gap right here. And then I said, every time it rains, my trunk is getting flooded because it doesn't seal at all. Five millimeter difference is a whole lot when you're dealing with water entry. There is no, there's an indentation on the left side of the tag. This, I don't know if you can see that. You see this big dent? That must have passed their quality control pretty well. But, you know, whatever. But this is the seal that I was talking about. This piece here. This is 17 millimeter thickness. And the stock one is 22. So, there's no possible way that that could have met and sealed properly. But camera. This is the rear backup camera and also the handle. <laughs> The backup camera and handle do not fit in the pre-cut hole correctly. The right side of the trunk sits significantly higher with no further adjustment. The OEM carpet does not line up with the holes so that can't be used. On several mounting points they had to be drilled out to fit. The OEM toolkit hole isn't large enough for the toolkit. It seems like a lot of issues, especially the water one for that price that I paid for the trunk. There is an indentation on the left side of the tag area. Rather than smooth, flat surface like the rest of the trunk, the backup right here. The backup camera and handle do not fit in the pre-cut hole correctly. The right side of the trunk sits significantly higher with no further adjustment at all. The premium carpet does not line up with the holes that they have pre-drilled. The OEM toolkit hole is not large enough for the toolkit. There are a lot of issues, especially the water issue. For the price that I paid for this trunk, I'd expect it to fit a lot better at this price point and since it went through the quality control inspection and the large indentation was somehow just not caught. How, how, does, how does this get through quality control? Okay. So this nice big indentation got through quality control um, along with my hanging tag lights because every single time that you push these up in there look you can see where it's been just rubbing against my tag but every single time I push that up in there they just fall right back out because of course it wasn't the right size and then you can see how the rear camera does not fit properly so with the trunk open, you will see that nothing, nothing fit per properly. Um, here is a foam seal that I had to go find and put on there to keep water from getting in here because one day I just come outside after it had rained and you know, the water was up to about here in my battery tray and as well as this little storage pocket. And then shortly after, my rear door handle decided that it was going to go bad. I don't know if that module is in there or what the case is. But I can't use my factory carpet. None of the holes line up. Um, all of these holes had to be drilled out. That one also. Obviously no spot for this since I can't use the factory carpet. That hole had to be drilled out. Whenever I put this tail light on, since it wasn't exact fitment, it actually pulled that apart. You can see there. 
So that's fantastic. Oh, and uh, nothing lines up. So I can't use that anymore. And I've, I've ovaled these holes out to make it to where I can actually shut it. But it did not shut at all. Talk to some people higher up and see what they can do to make this right. I do apologize about these issues. We will reach back out to you Monday to get this resolved. I said thank you. I greatly appreciate that. Let me know what you find out. Well, come Monday they didn't say anything, so I messaged on Wednesday, and they said I said any updates. They said we are still deciding how we want to go about this situation. I apologize for the delay. I said, all right. Then they get back to me and said, hello. So I got to speak to my manager and we are willing to offer you $200 back. Or let it get wet at all. Do you know how inconvenient that is? I can't even go to the car wash. I said, a replacement that fits every piece correctly and doesn't sit crooked seals correctly and doesn't have a massive dent in it. Basically exactly what I thought I was ordering and what's advertised. I can get you this one back at your cost for shipping uh, as soon as I get one that fits how it's supposed to. Or if you don't want this one back I can just destroy it because a lot of companies will say just destroy it so that you don't have two of them and you know make profit off of it or whatever. They said, understandable. Can you please provide us with pictures of all the issues you have stated so we can review them? We need photos of the mounting points, trunk open, closed, the divot, and any other angles that will help us understand the fitment. I've already sent them about 15 pictures at this point. So I said, did you get the pictures that I sent? And then they said, we did. I apologize for the delay. We were reviewing the photos to see what we can do to make this right. This is, all of these messages are over a period of like a month because it takes them, you know, three, four days just for one reply, which is ridiculous. So, you know, they never replied. I said, look, we need to do something about this now. I can't keep waiting. It's been long enough for somebody to make this right. I can't keep letting my entire trunk get flooded every single time it rains. Flooded every single time it rains or I'm going to have electrical pop, electrical problems and my car is going to be ruined. Just make a decision and I'll have to take this into my own hands and make a decision myself. They said, what's an email we can reach you at? I have someone from management reach out to you. I gave them my email. I said, make sure to let them understand all of my points of frustration in my entire experience up to this point. They said, management is aware of the situation. They will be reaching out to you shortly. Well, some more time goes by and I said, still not a single message. Seems like great management. who really care about their customers. Amazing. Another company who just doesn't care about their clients. I'll make sure to take note on that. Well then, suddenly, just about an hour later, so they said, Tiffany from customer service has reached out to you. Okay. So this is in my email. Tiffany from customer service. Tiffany says, hello, I am following up to the issue you were having with your trunk you ordered off eBay. I ordered the trunk through their shop on eBay. In order to see what we can do, we will need to see more photos of the fitment issue you are having with the item. From what I can see on the photos that were previously sent, the item fits as it should. So I will need to see more to be able to confirm the issue. I do see there's a small blemish on the trunk, but the item shows, but as the item shows, 
fully installed, we cannot issue a return at this point. We are happy to honor the $200 discount. If there is further fitment issues, please provide photos of the issues so we can see what we can do. Seriously? Seriously. Once again, it's been weeks at this point. They finally replied and said, we apologize for the delay. Unfortunately, due to this being installed, we are unable to accept the item back. However, we can issue a refund at 25% off the price that you paid of 1500. We can issue $375 back to your account as soon as possible. So at this point, Obviously, I'm very frustrated. And I said, you know what? Just just send me that. That's fine. I'll deal with it. Because that's, that's what I'm going to have to do anyways. Just deal with it. Well, I never got a $375 refund. And then they, they finally messaged back about a month later. It looks like we were processing, but there's an issue that won't let it go back onto the card. So we are issuing as a check. Can you confirm the best mailing address? This is May 5th at 4.45 p.m. I sent the address back immediately. I still haven't gotten a single thing. So here we are giving a review on this trunk so nobody else gets ripped a new one. At least if they see this video, they know that they know that they're going to be buying junk. So here's my handy dandy board that I'm going to rate this. Quality. 1 through 10 I think I'm going to give this a 2. And that's being generous, honestly. Appearance. This is the one thing that this trunk has going for it. The appearance, I'm going to say the appearance other than the divot beside the trunk or beside the tag, I want to say it's a 7. Fitment. 1 out of 10. Value $1675 or something like that. $1500 before tax. We'll just say $1500. Um, honestly, I want to give it another 2. That's a solid that's a solid number for value on this trunk. So if that didn't make up your mind, Maybe the customer service will. So as expressing all of my issues, I have received absolutely <laughs> zero refund back at all. And basically they, they called me a, a liar. So I'm going to say a strong zero. Satisfaction. I want to rate this 1 through 100. Now, my entire experience, the months that I've waited, dealing with them, the frustration, the terrible fitment, the shipping, it's June 28th. Satisfaction out of 100, 1 to 100. 8. So this could have been 100, this could have been 10, 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 and this could have been 10.
but this is what I got. Now, if you're wondering, hey, I've got an F10 M5 or any 5 series so this trunk will fit. Is that the right trunk for me? Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. I'll leave that up to you. But hopefully my video could help you better understand the quality and my overall experience with this item. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Big question we've all been wanting to know. Is it worth it? <laughs>